what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into the tool. Now, the tool is really designed for more of a NetSuite administrator or a developer type. Um, so I, I like to say that in order to be effective with this tool, there's probably a few things that uh, a that somebody would need to be comfortable with. They need to be comfortable with searching, right? The, the constitution of searches. They would need to be comfortable with the syntax of the, you know, the advanced PDF technologies, right? And ultimately, they'd probably need to be comfortable then with getting it hooked in in particular ways into the application. Now, of course, we can help all of our clients in any any one of these domains, right? But, uh, in, you know, if, if you were going to really leverage these tools on your own, um, you would need you would need some of that background. So let me go into it and just demonstrate this to you. So we call it we call it the CRE or Content Renderer Engine. I'm going to go into uh, profile definitions. And we provide some sample profile definitions to help people kind of learn how this works. I'm going, to, I'm going to focus on one in particular because I think it's germane to what many people are challenged with in the environment, and that's the ship confirmation. I know yours is in the opportunity record, but I think when you see how this comes together, I think you'll see how it can fit for you. Okay, best thing for me is just explain what this is about so that you can see how it comes together. The idea here is that these profiles are effectively like execution points. So you can have as many profiles as you need to sort of drive uh, content creation and communications. And the idea behind this is, is that, you know, you can name, the, name your profile. We offer different templating engines. Uh, NetSuite's is FreeMarker, but there's some limitations in NetSuite's implementation of FreeMarker that had us also implement two other engines uh, templating engines, trim path and handlebars, which are popular uh, templating engines. And actually, syntax looks pretty close to FreeMarker, but there's because of limitations in NetSuite's environments. Now, the idea behind this is that you start with a some type of record. And I'll just kind of show you if I were playing with this. You, you describe what record type you're going to start the action. And in this case, since we're going to be doing a uh, ship confirmation, we really want to be thinking about an item fulfillment, so that's a transaction record. And we're going to call that record. Okay, We can call it anything we want, but we're going to call it record. And then we have a link out to our template file. And this will all start to make sense when I illustrate the, uh, the testing of it. I'm going to ignore JavaScript override. It's an advanced function to get at certain kind of capacities in the environment. The email fields are all optional. If you want the system to generate and distribute email, you can have dynamic content in here for the distribution. So for example, right here, we're actually you know, putting in a little bit of free marker syntax on who, the, who we want to CC, including the, the message body and so forth. Completely optional, don't have to use this. Likewise, in um, PDF fields and so forth, this is to output into the file system, and you can have a dynamic file name and so forth. Now, the way the way this works is you start at the top of the tree, and it's called record. So you got to imagine you're on an item fulfillment, and then what you end up doing is you end up reaching out to other saved searches. And the, so the idea here is these are multiple individual saved searches, and I'm, and just to describe this, right? I'm saying that this one right here I'm saying is that is a search called CRE sales order header just to illustrate what that looks like just to, so it makes sure you can see what I'm doing here that's a save search right if we look at that save search we're basically saying let me search on a transaction where the main line is true, and then I output the columns I'm interested in. Okay. And then the way this works is you're basically describing that the parent to this say, this search is going to be the parent record is record right there, this name here. And we're saying that the ID in this record is going to link to the internal ID of this search for which we're going to call it 
SO for sales order. And we did the same thing here for what we're calling the item fulfillment packages. Sometimes this would be for the package tracking and so forth. And the same thing here, we wanted to get the um, sales order detail and we're calling that SO line. Now, what's interesting about this, all of these records are pointing to this. However, you can actually cascade down and recursively go deeper and deeper and deeper into data as you describe the hierarchy down here. So it's kind of abstract, but I'm first I'm hoping that this sort of makes sense conceptually first and it'll, it'll make sense when I drive the tool. So far, are we okay? I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so let me, let me uh, now demonstrate how you test this, okay? So you fire up the test profile here. And the idea here is now, uh, essentially the contents of that file here was loaded in so you can see what was in there, which contains all the syntax, right? And in this case, it's, it's saying, okay, well, we're going to, look up a transaction referenced as record, which we described before, and I'm gonna look up an item fulfillment, right, that's in the system. I'll just grab, say, that one, okay? And then it's got some basic other data here, and all I do is I hit preview. So this is how you would do development in this environment, okay? Out comes the, out comes the work that it did, and the first thing here is this is just for diagnostics. It's showing all the data that came back in raw format. But more importantly, we've created a syntax element. Now, that's one of the things that's hard about the PDF development is you can't see where the data is, right? So here, what this is basically doing is going, great, okay, record dot, you know, cleared, here's all the data, right, as it goes down, and you can interrogate this. So that's the record. Now this is the array, and this is all the stuff that came back with the first part of it. And as we scroll down... We're going to get into the, the detail data. Let's keep going down. Okay, here we go. There's the packages. There's the sales order amounts. And there's the lines, and it's an array. Does that make sense? So you've got a syntax yeah. checkers to help you in your, in your development. Then uh, we talk about some output metadata. These are basically the, uh, the this was like, uh, like the, uh, uh, email things and so forth. So that, what did that generate? And ultimately you get to your output. Now in this case, we didn't want to create a PDF. We wanted to create an HTML email, but this is all just advanced PDF kind of syntax that was rendered to ultimately produce this content. And if you're not satisfied with it, then one of the things you could do if I wanted to right here, I could say, well, okay, let's go ahead. Instead of calling it a ship confirmation, right, I might go over here and say, all right, let's call it, you know, shipping confirmation. And I'll just go ahead and hit preview again. And I go to my output now, I got shipping confirmation. That's what the development looks like. So... As you can kind of tell, you can play with your searches, kind of go back and forth and so forth, and you ultimately produce your content. This could have been a PDF, just all depends on how you uh, uh, construct your, uh, your content and so forth. So once you're then finally satisfied with, the, uh, with your profile, right, and you're saying, okay, this thing's ready to go, then the mechanism really is about how you drive it, right? And we offer a number of different hook points on doing, doing so, one of which could be a workflow. Let me stop first and just say, well, back up the tester. Um, did that make sense, what I just illustrated? I think so. I believe so. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then finally, it's like, okay, well, what are the different ways that you want to drive this, right? So we've had, we've had clients create... Um, tools where uh, after they ship, like here in the ship confirmation, they ex they just want to send the, uh, the email, right? So one approach on doing that would be we go over to set up scripting workflows. And here I have a sample, sample um, ship confirmation. So let's take a look at what that would look like here. 
and I basically have an action that basically says it's a custom custom action that basically says when this fires on certain events I'm I'm telling it which CRE profile I want to generate right because you it can bring up a list of the ones that we've created before and in essence that will fire okay and because that CRE profile had email information in it, it will it the CRE will actually send the email versus the workflow. So all we basically needed to do was get it to connect into the environment to get it triggered. This is just one of many different ways you could trigger it. And so we pull up, provide some sample scripts and different techniques, but this is usually one that's kind of easier for administrators to sort of understand. That's about it. So every time, yeah, so every time someone completes a ship transaction, in this case, it's going to fall off that CRE and and produce that HTML somewhere. That's right. Or as an email. As an right? email. As an email. We probably could we probably could generate one if you wanted to see that, right? If I go over to that. Yeah, we don't. That's fine. I understand. You get the idea, right? So it, yes. we've done other things too, of course, where we had one client that was working with the third party logistics company and they needed to send all of their orders over to the, to the third party logistics company and they needed to print um, their orders to be placed into the box when they ship. So we created a suite lit approach that basically allowed them to click on a hyperlink and on that hyperlink, all the open sales orders would turn into effectively invoices that one needed to go in the box. And with one CRE profile, we had hundreds, of hundreds of orders in there and we basically just use the tools to be able to generate PDF a single PDF that had hundreds of orders in it right and they print one time out comes everything onto the printer sorted correctly right and and then they could actually distribute them among their shipments and so forth so it doesn't have to be onesie it can be multiple records can be in there and so forth and it's up to you on just the creativity on how you organize the data